This week in the galley, we're at Flight in Uptown Whittier, California. Standing next to me is Carlos. He's the head chef here. Carlos, what do you have in store for us today? Uh, today we're going to be cooking a beautiful piece of tuna, and we're going to wrap it um, in sesame seeds, black and white, to add beautiful contrast of black, white, and the red of the fish. Yeah, that fish looks really, really good. And you could do this with either yellow fin or blue fin. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Nice, fresh fish like we're catching today. Exactly. All right, cool. Well, how do we get started? So we're going to start by cutting the tuna in half. Just want to add a little bit of olive oil around it before we season it. That way, when we sprinkle our salt and pepper, it's stuck to the, to the fish. We're going to go ahead uh, and cover them in the sesame seeds. And also, the oil helps the sesame seeds stay on the actual fish and that's exactly what we want. We make sure they are completely covered and they should be ready to be uh, put in the pan. So before we throw it in, we want to make sure that the pan is super hot because we just want to sear about 30 seconds on each side because we don't want to overcook tuna. And as you can see, the pan is really hot. You can hear the sizzling on it. And literally about 30 seconds in, you want to flip it just to make sure that you don't overcook it. So we're going to go ahead and place the tuna. So we're going to cut it into thin slices. And as you can tell, that beautiful red color inside the tuna. And that's just the way we want to keep it. Rare, no more than medium rare. All right, so we're going to start by putting our arugula. I like putting it right here in the center of the dish with our micro cilantro. Ginger, it kind of looks gross. Then I'm gonna put the sauce. I'm gonna make four points of the sauce. This is a reduction of soy sauce, port wine, and a little bit of vinegar. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, garnish our plate. Then we're gonna top it off with a little more sauce. the end, I would like to add a little bit of wasabi. Well, Carlos, this looks delicious. Thank you, Dan. I really hope you enjoy it. I have to try this with some ginger, some of your sauce. Your sauce really separates us from other dishes. That's really, really good. Thank you. I haven't had that before. It's a great little dish, and you can't go wrong with seared tuna but this is good quality tuna, a beautiful dish. And I like how lots of times when I've had seared dishes, they'll sear it like halfway through the fish. Yes. And I like how you, just the edges. Yes, definitely. Just the edges made it really good. Well, thanks a lot, Carlos. Really appreciate you helping us out. Thank you, Dan. Remember, we're at Flight in Whittier, California. You can go to their website. Also find them on Yelp and Facebook, too. Well, that was really good, Carlos. Thanks again, man. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.